Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video where I will show you how you can sort the visualization by using the multiple options that is available. Sometimes upfront, sometimes you need to go into the options. So very quickly, I want to show you some of the options as to how you can quickly sort your visualization. And before I move ahead, a quick information that this sheet where all of my previous videos, which I've uploaded is present in the description, which you can easily access, very easily search and jump to the video using the link present in the column B. That way your, uh, you, you have the speed in terms of you are looking for any specific topic, then you can quickly search and uh, find out that. Also, you can bookmark it so that it is handy with you whenever you need it. It's present in your bookmarks. All right. So now let's move on to the Power BI. And over here, what do we have is basically a table. If I just keep this in a different place and over here, I will just increase the size. Uh, also, if I need to change the font, which probably I will because this is a small font then i will increase the font size and now it is properly visible so we have the subcategory the sales the profit and their respective values and in case of a visualization like this the filtering is upfront present like if we click on the uh, the header you will see that it is sorting in ascending or descending similarly if i sort by sales it, i'll just click on sales and you will see that it is doing ascending and descending sort. Similarly for profit, if I click, then you know you will be able to see it. But what happens in scenarios like, if I just close this, and yeah, in the visualization, and if I'll just also remove this. So let's say we are creating a clustered column chart maybe, and we are doing the subcategory and uh, we have the sales right so what we are getting is the sales by subcategory so if we have a visualization like this where you know you don't have an option like this one you know where you have the upfront values so what do you do in scenarios like this well in scenarios like this you need to come over here more options and over here you have the option of sort access so in this sort access since we are having sales and subcategory then we will going to choose how do we want. So we are right now sorting by sales and it's in descending order. If you want ascending, then you'll just click on that. And now it is in the ascending order. But the idea one I wanted to give you is you have the more options, sort access, select by which you want to have it. If you want to use it alphabetically, then you can use the subcategory option and it is in alphabetical order as you can see it, right? So that's what I mainly wanted to show you as to how you can sort it. But what if, if your users are coming and saying that, uh, you know, they want to sort it by a different column altogether, let's say by profit in that case, then you can basically use the feature of tool tips. So right now the profit is not present. As you can see, sort access, you only have sales. But if I just add, the profit to the tool tip where is that there you go right the profit is now not you are not able to view it the profit but you got the power of sorting it by profit and as you can see now it is basically sorting based on the profit like sort ascending or sort descending so in the front end you are seeing the values of sales but it is actually sorted by the profit, right? So I know this can be slightly complex, but I wanted to just give you an option or I wanted to provide you an option in scenarios like those where you in the front end, you want to display one value, but those, val those categories you want to sort by another column. Then in that case, tooltips, within tooltips, you can view it. In the next video, I will show you another way of how you can do that. So with that, that's about it for this video and I'll now meet you in the next video with a new topic.